Hey guys, what is up? Hope everyone is doing well, hope everyone's having an amazing day because I am as usual and ladies and gentlemen, we have loads that is happening to Bone. Bone is absolutely, you know, moving both ways. Now it's in a dip, okay? So a lot of people have been panicking, others see it as a massive opportunity. So a lot of emotions happening. And this is normal for crypto. Don't uh, discard it um, happening because it can happen to any crypto and it probably happens very, very often to certain cryptos. Now, in this instance, uh, we've definitely been seeing a shopping season and a lot of observations in regards to Bone. And I've been trying to, you know, put out the different opinions, thoughts there are in regards to this situation um on my you know my channel so you guys can see what the people are actually thinking not just you know the, the news channels news outlets or the technical analysis let's see what the individuals themselves have to say about it now someone uh posted a very interesting observation which i thought we should have a look into and see what this person actually thinks is going on so this person says this is a continuation to my last post about potential market direction for Bone. After bouncing off 1.06 again, we found a low volume support at 1.20. Our spread has tightened from minus 0.12 to 0.3, 0.4. This signals a slowdown in trading, which can see in trading volume across crypto today. If the Fed is having an impact, I think this is the extent of which of it but we'll see for sure tomorrow when they publish interest rate figures. The tightening of that spread is concerning that we can see a strong retracement in the very near future. All it really takes is a hundred-ish ETH sale to trigger enough FUD to drive us back to 0.60 at this stage, and the same could be said for a hundred said for a hundred ETH by pushing FOMO and price back above 1.50 and hopefully creating a new basis of support. Historically, in crypto sideways prices, with a 5% uh, spread don't last long and in a bar bear market, it's indicative of an incoming downtrend. If Bone does not cross back above 1.36 in the next day and holds this tight spread, I can stay with confidence that downward declines in ETH and Bitcoin will more than likely have a direct and immediate impact on Bone. If Bitcoin and ETH hold their line, I'm confident Bone can too. And if they manage to pump it, it will be interesting to see if that, if that inspires more Bone buying. Unless we see a large exchange new project or viral Bone related content inspire more buying uh, going to be uh, in, it's going to be next to impossible for Bone to get back to $2. If there was enough interest to hold that number, we would have never fallen from it. That being said, we have enough support for now to hold 1.20 and keep us above the $1 mark. And that's impressive considering not that long ago, Bone quadrupled its value during a bear market while ETH and Bitcoin were down 3%. Bone was up over 30%. That being said, it's become obvious that it went up and needed to come down. I'm not saying we see sub dollar bone, but the potential for it grows every day that our hold account remains stagnant and price remains in such a tight spread it almost begs for volatile trading to kick in either direction if this was a bull market i'll be shouting for everyone to get in on the bone train but with winter closing so i have to read the signals with caution and express my concern that the flash sale might be back on soon here's to hoping i'm wrong and full of fud but we will see what occurs with bitcoin neath this week which should clarify which way we are going so obviously, I imagine, you know, this all this info is pre Shibarium. And it's very important to note that because when Shibarium comes out, we're going to be looking at completely different numbers. We're going to be working with different numbers. But at the moment, uh, possibly dips like this give us more opportunity to load up, to, um, you know, uh, remove the regrets that we had for not buying enough, to really get in on it, okay? because it has a lot to offer and you guys have to understand it. This is no joke. This is big, big, big uh, sums of money that we're gonna be making. And at the moment, if it's very, very low, potentially you could be loading up, okay? But remember, this is your, 
your action, your decision, you do your own research, but just look at the charts because I'm not a financial advisor. This is for informational purposes for you to understand that right now, perhaps these are the good moments. Uh, but on the other hand, you know, um, uh, I think uh, bone, you know, does does follow the the economic sentiment around the environment for sure. So interest rates could impact Ethereum, Bitcoin, all this stuff definitely correlates. It's definitely aligned with it. And we are in a bear market. There's a lot of political turbulence, inflation happening in the world. So loads of things are, are going on and, and it's normal. It's normal. Um, and definitely there's going to be a lot of trading volume before Shibarian because people are preparing. Some, some are withdrawing their profits, okay, those that want quick money. Others are uh, loading up because they know the value of bone. But either way, what I always try to explain to you guys is that if you have a strategy, okay, a plan, stick to it. Don't let your emotions and your psychology take over. That is so, so like bad in, you know, when it comes to trading. Be clever about it. Be steady. Be motivated and keep your heads held high because big things are coming our way. I am so, so excited, okay, about everything that's going on. Um, I'm, I'm really, really you know, appreciative, like, to people like this user um, who actually made a post, a long post about what could potentially be doing, uh, what could potentially be happening, you know, and these are reasonable explanations, okay? Um, so, as of now, ladies and gentlemen, Hopefully you can uh, keep up with this channel. Make sure you subscribe because I'm going to produce a lot of information so you guys know what people are talking about, how they're feeling. And also I want to know about your feelings. Let me know like what's been going on the past few days. What have you been doing? What do you base it on? Why is this happening? So all this stuff is so, so important for me. I'm very, very curious about your thoughts. So as usual, I want to say a big thank you to everyone. You know, I appreciate all the support. Um, without you, this wouldn't be possible. Um, I am going to produce way more content for you. Um, a lot of observations. And also, um, I'm working on a Twitter account that I'm going to put out for you guys to start following and stuff. Um, so really jump on this uh, bandwagon, okay, of information and motivation. As usual, thank you so much. And I'll see you in my next video.